Yes, so today I'll be showing you how you can take model photos, flat lays and hanger photos for your Depop, eBay or your Vinted account. I'll be going over tutorials and how to do each. I'll be going over the equipment you're going to need as well to do them. But they're all so easy to do. I'll go into the pros and cons of all of them as well. But let's start off with some of the equipment you're going to need. You're going to need a tripod with a phone holder on. Tripods are so cheap. You could get one for probably under £20. And these little phone holders are really cheap. You could get these for under five and for lighting as well a softbox light would really help they're so cheap they're only 15 pounds each 30 for the pair you obviously get the box light you get a tripod and you obviously get the light bulb as well to go in the light as you can see these light bulbs are pretty big the light bulbs as well to replace these are really cheap i think they're only about 10 pounds and they're 135 watt light bulbs so they give off quite a lot of light one tip when buying these softbox lights though, make sure the softbox light does this and it's easily collapsible because some of the softbox lights, these wires you have to install each time which is really long. Make sure you just buy one that's a pop up and pop down one because it's so much easier than having to put them wires in every time. But as I've already said, I'll link the lights that I bought in the description. They're not really too essential but they definitely do help light your items a lot better which is a really key part of taking photos. And as well, if you're doing like model photos you could use like these little clicker things i'll put a photo to the side but they're not too expensive either you can get them for under 10 pounds the first type of photo which is the most easy to achieve photo i'll show you is the hanger photo but as you can see, we've got the item hung up with our two box lights set up to the side of us. This is why it's better to have two, because say you only had one, the lighting massively decreases. As you can see, there's a big shadow on this side now. But when you turn the second one back on, it's a lot more evenly lit. I try to put the arms in as well, because if the arms are all like scrunched up like this, it doesn't look very appealing. So just by putting them in or making them straight, it makes the item look a lot better. And as well, doing up any zips that the item has like on the pocket, or anything like that will make your photos look a lot better as well. But we're just going to take the photo now. All I'm going to use is my phone to take the photo. You can use a DSLR, but there's no point really. Because the iPhone camera is sufficient and as well, it's going to take a long time to transfer the files from your camera to your phone. And for the quality difference, it's not really worth it. But what we are going to do on my phone is we're going to change the photo to a square photo because that's what Depop uses. By literally just going up on the top arrow and clicking the four to three and changing it to square. And then just going back, making sure all of our item is in the frame and taking our photo. That one wasn't very straight so we're gonna go again and make it a lot straighter and a lot nicer looking. But there we are with our finished photo with both of our softbox lights on and our photo on a hanger. And as well this is with just one. As you can see there is like a bit of a shadow on one side and one side's better lit than the other. And as well it doesn't look anywhere near as good as when we have both softboxes on. So you're best off just putting both of them on and just kind of having them set up like I do just both to the side so they're both on the item. As you can see this is what it looks like if you don't have any softbox lights. It's not that bad but it obviously looks dramatically better with them. And as well for the type of background you would use, the background that I would suggest is something that would stand out on the feed. Like solid white backgrounds don't really stand out that much. Like say you had even just a blue or a purple or something like that, that will stand out so much more. Or as well if you have kind of like a theme like I do on my shop, like the dartboard theme. Like as you can see I've kind of got the dartboard theme running through my shop. It makes it look a lot more eye catching. But now let's get on to how to do the flat lay photos. As you can see, I've literally just laid the item out on my bed. You don't even need anything really more than that. You could lay it out on your floor or anything like that, but your bed's going to be sufficient. Arguably, your bed is better where it's a little bit raised off the floor. It makes it just a little bit easier to take photos. But once again, we've got our softbox lights set up either side of us to get a nice even lighting on both sides of the photo. But once again, I've laid the item out nice and flat, nice and neatly, trying to make it look as pristine as possible and as well once again making the arms look good because say you had the arms like that it doesn't look very good but once again we're just going to take the photo going above the arm trying to get it all in frame trying to make the arm look as neat as possible and trying to make our photo look nice and straight but that's our photo taken as you can see really nice results we've got for it nice evenly lit photo making the arm look really nice but this is what it looks like with only one softbox light. Once again, really uneven lighting and only really lit one half of the item. And then this is what it looks like with no softbox lights. Really bad photo. Just really.
really poorly lit, it makes your item look so much worse. If you don't want to buy softbox lights, go outside and take your photos to get a better light. But now we've done our flat lays and we've done our hanger photos, let's get on to now to do the model photos, which I think are the best type of photos. But this is where your tripod and your phone attachment come into play and as well your remote camera switch. If you want that, as I said, I don't think it's worth it, I'll show you a better way. But here we are with our phone set up on the tripod and the tripod fully extended. And as well as you can see I've got both of my softbox lights set up so they're both like hitting me. The settings we're going to turn on once again by just using the little up arrow. Are to again just turn on square photos and this time set a timer for 3 seconds. You could set it for 10 seconds but there's no real point. 3 seconds is long enough. Then to turn on flash so you don't get burst photos and your phone won't get killed of storage. Because I had to learn that the hard way for for some reason if you have a timer it does burst photos like what's the point but as you can see we're just gonna try and line ourselves up so our whole body's in the frame and we're just gonna step over and take the photo and just by using the timer and stepping back you don't need a remote switch but you can really see in this photo how dramatic the box lights really are to light in the photos they really make your photos look so much better like this photo doesn't look really good at all I've got a really big shadow behind me that I didn't have before and as well the photo just looks a lot darker so you can really see how effective these box lights are they're so cheap as well only £30 for two you get two tripods with that obviously the two box lights two bulbs and you get a carrier bag for them which is really nice if you are going to be transporting these about which I do I'll put the link to where I got these in the description once again as I said but if you've made it this far in the video you must have somewhat enjoyed it so please like the video it does massively help out my channel and this video and share it to anyone you think might benefit from watching it and subscribe to my channel to help me hit 1k by the end of the year it'd be so appreciated if you could help me and if you don't subscribe you're gonna miss out on Depop tips like this one, vintage unboxings, vintage wholesaler reviews, charity shop videos, car boot sale videos, and just so much more content. Three times a week now, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 5 pm on this channel. So you'd be crazy not to subscribe. But I really do hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. But please like, subscribe, and comment down below any videos you'd like to see in the future and as well if you're a loyal subscriber thanks for continuing to watch but what did you think of the audio in this video was it better was it worse i tried to turn it down a little bit because i know in some of the last videos it seems a little loud and it seems like i'm shouting but what did you think of this one was it a bit quieter or was it worse let me know in the comments it'd be very much appreciated